Ah yes, it's time for another album ranking. Today we are ranking none other than Dark Fortress. Now, before you get your tits in a tangle, let me tell you something. Dark Fortress is one of my favorite black metal bands. They are melodic, they are very atmospheric, and they are progressive as well. They have certainly changed the sound throughout the discography, and I am mind blown. It was a blast listening to this discography again by the German black metal band Dark Fortress. They released a new album last year specters from the old world I honestly cannot remember which album was a gateway for me to Dark Fortress but I fucking love them there have been two lead vocalists as well Asakoff and also um, Morian Morian is the current vocalist and I'm really excited to give you my album ranking before I start pop your favorite Dark Fortress albums down below and let me tell you there is not one bad fucking Dark Fortress album out there they are incredibly consistent band. So first up is Profane Genocidal Creations, which is Dark Fortress's sophomore album. This album is good overall, but I just feel that some of these songs just lack a little. They do, and the overall production isn't that great. It's not as grandiose as the other Dark Fortress albums. The album before that, which was Tales from Eternal Dusk, was a hell of a lot better than Profane Genocidal Creations. Love the artwork on this, artwork's fantastic, but the overall songwriting is a bit lackluster. This is a very good album overall, I just feel that Profane Genocidal Creations is one of their weakest. They do incorporate some heavily symphonic elements throughout this album, sounding very similar to bands such as Emperor and Demu Borgia, although I feel that they haven't really found their own identity. This is more towards symphonic traditional black metal. And this is a good album overall, but the next few albums, in my opinion, are a hell of a lot better. So, this album was released in 2008, and we got the album Idolin. Idolin, I think that's how you pronounce it. Overall, it's a fantastic fucking concept album. I love the overall structure of this. This is a pretty heavy fucking album by Dark Fortress. Incredibly atmospheric. This was the album after Sea Ants, with some great songs like Her Horror, Bathame, purge me, Bathame, do, 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 do. so catchy. The Unflesh and Alepsi, No Longer Human, and Anders Vesim is one of the best closers for an album. Overall, this is a really good album. It's one of the shortest albums by Dark Fortress. This was the first album for Morian, who was the second lead vocalist. Great album, some really nice guitar work, great solos, and some dizzying guitars as well. Idolin sounds nothing like Profane Genocidal Creations. This is when Dark Fortress really channel in their own sound. This has got some very interesting moments. Next up is their latest album, Spectres from, Spectres from the Old World. Don't get me wrong, this is an absolutely fucking fantastic album. It really is. Some great songs like The Spider and the Web, Paliake, Din Din, and Fantastical Scorched in Rock, along with Issa, Issa, Falling from the Sky. It was one of my favorite albums of 2020. I love it, I love the guitar work, I just really enjoy the drumming. Dark Fortress is so good at combining atmosphere along with melodic, heavy moments. Morian sounds fantastic on this. I just love it from start to finish. Although I just feel that there are other better albums than Spectres from the Old World. Next up was my former favorite Dark Fortress album. We got Yem. So Yem is, I think, was my first Dark Fortress album I heard. And holy shit, I fell in love with it. I absolutely love this album. This is when Dark Fortress really channel in the angelic side on this LP, along with their heaviness. You get some beautiful clean vocals by Morian throughout the song Rafe, which is the last song of the album. And I tell you what, Rafe is such a beautiful and just such an eerie sort of uh, song to close off the album. There are some beautiful acoustic moments. There are some just heavy head bangable fuckable songs as well. Great songs like Even For, Satan Bled, along with Nemesis. Great guitar work, great solos. Just a really fun fucking time. I just love how this album flows cohesively. This was released in 2010. This is one of my favorite Dark Fortress albums. But of course, we got Venereal Dawn, which was released in 2014. And holy shit, this album is 
a fucking masterpiece. The next few albums I'm gonna mention are just so damn good. This is a heavy album. It's a mid-tempo paced album as well, very similar to the to Yam, except Venereal Dawn has such a, an aggressive tone. I love the song Venereal Dawn, Lorja, along with Betrayal and Vengeance, Betrayal and Vengeance, along with I Am, I Am, the Jigsaw of a Mad God. So damn good. Luciform and on Fever's Wings. Holy shit, the beautiful angelic vocals, his vocals as well, just mix so well together. It's such a beautiful song overall. I love it. Love the album cover. Venereal Dawn is one of my favorite Dark Fortress albums, and there are some melodic and catchy moments as well. Yes, this is a pretty intense album, but you know what? Next album's going to mention, I just feel are a little bit higher caliber. Next up is Tales from Eternal Dusk, which is but which I believe is a lot of people's favorite album. And I can understand why. This is heavily symphonic and it's just symphonic black metal. That's all I can say. It's like symphonic black metal. I love the three songs Sweet, Immortality Profound, the whole trilogy, Dreaming Throne of Somber Thought, and Capturing Eternal Eternity's Eyes. So great production it's got that second wave black metal sound crimson tears so damn good along with tales from eternal dusk the self-titled track I love the guitar work and i just love the tremolo picking on this some great melodies and yeah Asavos vocals are just so damn good on this. I love his harsh and aggressive vocals along with the beautiful keyboards you were getting. Strong orchestral elements sounding very similar to the band Emperor and even throwing a bit of inspiration of Dark Throne and Mayhem. Just really good overall. Love the dizzying guitars on this. I just feel that this is way better, way better than a sophomore album, Profane Genocidal Creation, which I believe Felt a little bit flat for Dark Fortress, but holy shit, this is a fantastic traditional symphonic black metal album that I love to listen to over and over again. They listen to Apocalypse. Apocalypse is such a good song. This is Dark Fortress's original sound. And this is this is a less proggy album uh, than the other albums I've mentioned. But overall, what a fucking fantastic album. Next up is Dark Fortress Sea Arts. Released in 2006, and this was, I believe, Askevov's last album. And what can I say? This is just an incredible concept album. I love it. Some great songs like While They Sleep, along with Poltergeist, and you got Inside. Inside is one of the most creepiest friggin' tracks I've ever heard in my life. Especially the heavy breathing, along with the just dramatic insanity. Uh, screaming as well revolution vanity along with insomnia to end off the album this is my opinion one of the best dark fortress albums this is when dark fortress started to experiment on this surely they experimented on the previous albums but they really decided to experiment this sounds like uh stab wound 2.0 instead seance is is just as about as atmospheric and dark as stab wound but Holy shit, Ghastly Indoctrination is one of the most heaviest fucking songs. To start off Seance, the overall story, the overall concept, just Seance is a masterpiece. And finally, my favorite Dark Fortress album is none other than Stab Wounds, which was released in 2004. And what can I say, just fantastic guitar work, just incredible drumming as well. This is, this reminds me of Marduk. It really does, it reminds me of Marduk, it reminds me, it reminds me of Dark Funeral. This is a very aggressive sound by Dark Fortress and holy shit, it fucking works. This is the most heaviest fucking album by Dark Fortress. And in my opinion, a lot of people would say they don't, it doesn't sound like Dark Fortress, but it does, it does. It's got its own weird, twisted way, and I fucking love it. I love Stab Wounds. Stab Wounds is my favorite Dark Fortress album now. I just love how heavy and gritty this album is. Just insanity, insane, insane guitar work, insane drumming, and just ask if its vocals are just oh, so damn good on this. Just an incredible work by Dark Fortress on this album. 
I love how the album cover looks like something out of something out of Leviathan, the depressive suicidal black metal band. Yeah, this is definitely one of the most darkest Dark Fortress albums. Fantastic songs like Iconic Cousin Mega, just just unrelentlessly fucking heavy, along with Stab Wounds, Self Mutilation, Despise the Living, Rest in Oblivion, A Midnight Poem with the beautiful acoustic tone. Will you focus your cunt like a somnolence in daylight's fire? Oh, the guitar work's amazing, great solos, just incredible, incredible moments. But overall, I love how Dark Fortress delivers such an atmospheric dark album. So yes, Dark Fortress Stab Wounds is my favorite Dark Fortress album. I just love Dark Fortress. I just love how they were once traditional black metal, but they moved towards the proggy and avant-garde side. There are certainly some dizzying guitars throughout their albums, and especially throughout the latest albums as well. But I gotta say that Stab Wounds is the complete package for Dark Fortress because you can hear some sounds from the newer Dark Fortress and hear some sounds from the older Dark Fortress. It's just a perfect blend of just melodic black metal. Let me know in the comments below your favorite Dark Fortress albums. Do you agree or disagree with my opinion? Keep the discussion going in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one.